War's over, I'm a piece of Mandalorian. The story is stuff. Star Wars historians deep in debate, but they play at Benegans. Round Renegade, shut up in the... Greetings, my welding friends. Welcome to episode 13 of Adventures in In tonight's episode, we have the great and powerful Jimmy welding with a spool gun, some aluminum, or as our British friends say, aluminium. We have a view of what welding class is like, a little update on my 2G progress, and the beginnings of some open root TIG welding. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today I'm sitting right here in my welding booth. As you can see, still don't know who the fuck that is. Today, we're continuing with the 2G plate. And I just wanted to throw in a little welding school etiquette. When you burn your 7018s, do not throw them away like this in my school, or you get yelled at. That is the proper way to throw away. Got it? Okay, good. All with the show. Out there, Jimmy. Oh, Lincoln spool guy, aluminum. What's it for? Aluminum. Why can't you just use the real wire in the machine? Uh, you actually can if you run one eighth aluminum wire. Without one eighth aluminum wire, this shit's so soft. I hardly even touch it. It breaks off in the machine. Even with one eighth, you still get. A lot of birds nasty shit in your welder. So you gotta use a spool gun for aluminum. Yep. Same polarity? Yep. Oh, you're on AC for aluminum. Huh? 
What's that? You're on AC for a little No. No, DC? It's regular as me. Yep. Run one flat. Uh-huh. Run this. That's why. Down. Oh, I I ran that down, now. Mm -hmm. I'll run over this one for you. All right. too hard. All right. What we're going to do here in the home shop tonight is a little open root V groove. This is 3 16 inch uh, mild steel beveled to a feather edge. And we're going to TIG this or GTA. Important things, of course, is that the metal is clean and shiny. As uh, Jody from Welding Tips and Tricks says, clean and shiny metal is happy metal. So after I cut the, the little plates out, I uh, ground the bevel in them, then I used a flap disc to dress them up. Now I'm using a 332nd electrode here. This is ER70S2 to set my gap. And what's going to happen that's really nice is once I tack it, it's going to close in just a hair so that the electrode won't fall through when I go about welding the root pass. Okay, here's our fit up. You can see that our two coupons are sitting on top of three similar plates for spacing and tack up. I'll be doing a lay wire technique for the root. Um, I have a maximum amp on the pedal, 165 amps, but I'll be controlling it with the pedal, so I can't really tell you what I'm going to set it at. Before we get started with the actual wet out, our, uh, 330 second V groove open route, I'd like to have a moment of safety with you guys out there. It should come without saying, but apparently it does not. Do not weld in the nude not a good idea but if you find yourself in a situation where it's necessary for God's sake shave your pubes nobody needs to smell that okay on with the welding all right everything is set to weld here I'm gonna apologize I still cannot get a good arc shot no matter what I do uh, right now you're looking through a, a auto darkening 
helmet and some exposure compensation. So when I strike the arc, I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch a bunch of uh, bright flashing light. 